Hey guys, how you doing? How's it going? It's Craig here. Thanks for thanks for coming back. I got uh, another <clears throat> beer to do here and a few things to talk about. This is kind of the format I've decided to do. Uh, whoops, what am I turning that for? With this um, tasting beer tasting uh, series that I'm doing because I got um, I got a few neat and cool beers from Ryan who also calls himself RK Dangerously in my chat room on my live broadcast. What live broadcast? Well, I've talked about this a lot, but I'm gonna go further into it and deeper into it. <clears throat> Explain to you how it came about and why I do it, okay? So, but first, beer. Staying away from uh, mainstream media and politics today. Okay? The beer, the beer, in question is a Flying Monkeys Sparkle Puff Triple IPA. I almost did the chocolate, double chocolate, triple milk, chocolate, double chocolate, triple stout. <laughs> it's in the fridge. That thing's gonna be wicked. No, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do this one today because I really, I really want to have an IPA. I've been drinking um, a homebrew that I did um, which I'll talk about, which I already talked about. You saw that in the last video. Um, and it's really, it's, it's good. It's tasting better and better. Not too bad. It's almost gone. So this is the, um, this is the card. I'll read you the, um, um, the, the, the text here after we pour the beer because I'm kind of thirsty. So there's the, you know, you can see that. We'll get that up on the screen in a little while. Ready? some reverb on that all righty oh boy I, I, I did. what a job I have huh what a job isn't this uh just horrible tasting beers and making beer and stuff on YouTube jeez all right and it's not really a job actually but anyway okay Let's do this. Okay, we're adjusting the pour. People say, tilt the glass. I do. I do tilt the glass. And then uh, I find out that I can't, shouldn't tilt the glass because the beer is a little... You know, we, that's, 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 there's the way you want it right there. You see that? You see that? I've been pouring beer for 30 years. Okay, enough said. All right. Look at that. It's got a beautiful... It looks like the last one I did. Really, these IPAs are um, are often very, very cloudy. Let's take those off for a minute. And, um, you know, hops... Hops. This one's got some uh, fruitiness to in it. I, I've read this already, so but we'll we'll just I'm gonna give it a taste first, um, without this being fresh in my mind, and I'll give you what I get first off. Cheers, everybody. Seventeen. And if you don't know what seventeen means, ask in the comments down below. Someone will answer you. Someone. A lot of people know, but if you're new to this, you might not know, which is fine. It's, it's an old. It's an old term that means basically means cheers, but there's a story behind it. Seventeen. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Now I can't see that. I'm, I'm actually visually impaired, so from here I cannot read this, this paper. There's fruit. There's fruit in this. It tastes... I know there's fruit in it because I read this already, but I can't remember which fruits are in it. I think there's berries. But I taste what tastes to me like a mango. And I don't think that's the fruit that's listed down in here. But I taste mango. Because I've recently eaten one, so I know what they taste like. Mmm. Oh, my God. 
of course, the hops are there. And definitely, there's definitely a, a, a um, um, prominence of a certain fruit in the hops. And of course, the carbonation is awesome. The mouthfeel is very nice. And the malt, well, the malt's kind of covered up by the fruitiness. Now, I know a lot of people don't like fruity beers. Don't think of this as a fruity beer. It's not like a strawberry beer or something like that. It just has a bump in the flavor profile representing a fruit, a fresh orange colored fruit, not an orange though, seems to me. Let's give it one more and then we'll read the paper. People say, well, you read it already. Yes, I did, but I didn't. I only read it once and I don't remember. I just remember there is some fruit here and here. So let's give this a whirl. I'm not a very good reader, by the way, so bear with me. This says, it's a Flying Monkeys Sparkle Puff Triple IPA is what it's called again. And I'll put this up on the screen for you. It says, Sparkle Puff launches with a payload of smashed summer peaches. Okay, that's what I'm tasting. For cushions of fierce multi fluff behind a force field of shimmering hops. Beware, the 10.2% ABV is eerily quiet in this triple IPA. This one's fizzy and dangerous. Peaches. Well, peaches are orange. I, I knew there was a, I knew there would, that was, I could taste something. Mangoes and peaches don't taste the same. Well, they maybe sort of do, but that's what I'm now, I'm, now when I taste it, mm, even the real aroma, definitely taste those peaches. I can just feel the hair of the skin of the peach on my, in my mouth. There it is. The right, the right, right about the fuzzy thing. Okay, there, I just put that together in my, 55 year old brain <laughs> that's where the fuzzy stuff comes from okay all right so inside the recipe inside the recipe that's what it says it says the abv is 10.2 percent so you know we're gonna take it easy on this one ibu is 34 srm is four that's the color i think it's been a while since i've used beersmith um, malts, we've got pale malt, uh, which is two row, uh, wheat malt, oat flakes, and the hops, we have Simcoe, Idaho 7, three dry hop additions, fermentation days 4, 8, and 12, Simcoe, Idaho 7, and Vic Secret. I've heard of some of these hops before, I haven't, but uh, special editions, fresh peach puree, and yes, you can taste the peaches, the peach. And it's very nice. It's not overwhelming. Uh, it's, it's, it, it blends in nicely with the beer and the hops. Very nice recipe. Very nice recipe. These people are working, man. These, are work, these, are, these guys are good. And I'm not being paid for this in any way, shape, or form. Um, by YouTube or anybody. So uh, this is very, very nice. I really, really do like it. Let's give it one more. And then we'll let it warm up a bit while I gab about stuff. And so you should get yourself a beer too and sit down and we'll, we'll have a talk. Oh. You know, for, for you guys that just, if you're watching this and you're not a home brewer and you're just going out and buying, you know, Miller Lite, <laughs> whoops, or... Um, cores or something like that you have no idea and I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart you have no idea what good beer tastes like if you haven't tried to get into some of these craft beers now in Canada this is expensive and the person who sent this to me I believe is is uh, he's Canadian so he, he paid through the nose for these beers and I thank him very very much for that giving me the opportunity I can go out and buy these myself but I, I uh I don't know I <laughs> just I don't drive, so I'd have to like hunt around and find them and everything. So um, thank you, Ryan. You really need to try some of these craft beers. And if you're a home brewer, this might inspire you to try some stuff. Get some peaches, peach puree. 
buy a bunch of peaches, you know, add them to a beer. You can't screw up beer very easily, you know. I mean, it can have off flavors and weird tastes, but it's still beer, right? And if you're not a fuss pot, you're still going to drink it. Some people tip their, pour their beer down the sink because they don't, I don't like it. Well, just drink it. Be, come on, be a man. Drink that beer. You made it. You screwed it up. Drink it. Okay. But you can't mess up beer that badly. I mean, it's still going to be beer. All right. What I was going to talk about is, speaking of Ryan and his name in my chat room, RK Dangerously, is his name in my chat room. What do you, what do you mean by chat room, Craig? Listen... You've heard me mention my Friday night broadcast a lot, and I do pro promote it. And by the way, if you want to buy a shirt, just a little a little commercial break here. These shirts are available. A lot of people have bought these. These shirts are all over the place. Lots of people have bought these shirts. This is the classic Craig Tube Barrel shirt at TGTShirts.com. Uh, it's a little wrinkled. I had it. It's My closet's full of shirts that uh, we've... We've worked on, and they get they get pressed together, and you know. But it, they, these things are so durable, and they're such good quality. And so, I go to tgtshirts.com and click on the right hand side. You'll see me. Go in there. There's your shirts. And go ahead and go to town. Support the channel if you can. Okay. And thank you to all of you who have bought them. Many people call into my live broadcast, which I'm about to talk about. Wearing the shirts. And boy, for me, that's euphoric. It's like, oh, look at that. There's my shirt. And you're wearing it. It's cool. So this thing, this thing I do on Friday night has become something that I've dreamed about for almost all of my life. And I really mean this sincerely. I'm not exaggerating or anything like that. Um, when, I was, when I was very young, like, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old, uh, I, I wanted to be a singer. And, you know, you would watch TV, and at that time, TV, they had, you know, they had the Helen Reddy show, they had the Midnight Special, other musical shows on at night, which was awesome. And you don't have stuff like that anymore, unfortunately, and it's too bad. Not that there's any decent music out there these days. But <laughs> sorry. Sorry. But, um... So I really wanted to be a singer. Well, that's my that's my slow cooker. My beans are ready. I made some slow cooked beans. I put some some white beans in, dried beans like raw, you know. Uh, water, of course, a bit of salt, tomato, uh, some canned tomatoes, uh, onion, garlic, and some pieces of ham. And, uh, you know, seven hours it's been... Mmm, it smells good in here. Okay. Yeah, I know. Why don't you do a Craig's Kitchen on that? I will. I got to get used to this, how to do it in, the, in this house. So, little kid, wanted to be a singer. Knew that I probably wouldn't be, but, you know, I was told, well, you can't really, you know. And the other thing I wanted to do, whenever I used to sing... Like, I used to sing. My parents would have friends over. And I wasn't afraid. I would come in there. I'd come in the room. You know, can I sing for you? Yeah, yeah, Greggy. You could, some, some of them used to call me Greggy, you know. Because they were all drinking and stuff, you know, my parents and their friends. So I would sing. I had no problem with that. Just sing. Just like Alfalfa and the Little Rascals, you know. And then after I sang the song, I would announce the song. I would say, you know... Well, that was Tie Yellow, Re Tie Yellow Rim Around the Old Oak Tree by Tony Orlando and Dawn. Now, where have you heard that? On the radio. You know, you hear the song, and then you hear the announcer saying what song it was. That's the old days, not today, of course. If you're young and you're listening to the radio, you have no idea what you've missed back in the day of ra real radio. When there was a real DJ sitting behind a mixer and turntables and tape recorders and... and you know, m microphone, really doing it, really sitting there, spinning songs, talking in between, taking calls, taking requests. That's what radio used to be like. If for all you younger people who don't know it, that's what it used to be like. It ain't like that anymore. 
In fact, I don't even know if there's anyone in the building where the radio station is that, what, that you're listening to. There might even be, not even be anyone there. It's all automated. You hear some guy talking, well, it's probably pre-recorded. So anyway, I wanted to be a radio DJ, obviously, because one of the things that I used to do was emulate talk, you know, not talk, um, hit radio. Because when I was listening to the radio, they'd play a hit song, like Tie a Yellow, River, Tie a yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree. Then the, after the song, they'd say, and that was Torty Orlando and Dawn with Tell a Yellow River. Why can't I say that? I don't know. So anyway, as time went on, I decided to go to high school and college and everything. When I went to college, I took electronics and I took computer science. And um, I didn't get into radio because I didn't think I'd be able to read. You know, they put copies in front of you and you have to read them. Well, I'm severely visually impaired in case you didn't know. I have 5% in one eye and 10% in the other. I know that sounds bad, but I'm fine. Don't, please don't feel sorry for me, I'm fine. I get by in life. I got by this far. I can get by, you know, in the future. I'm fine. And I, I'm, I'm don't, I don't suffer very much at all. So turn the page, turn the page, turn the page. We used to have parties at, at the house, you know, New Year's Eve and stuff like that. Um, friends would come over. I'd be the DJ. I'd be the one playing the music and everything. And did weddings and stuff like that. DJs at DJ weddings. Did bars. One of the particular down on down the street there. Um, every Friday and Saturday night, I did uh, I had two turntables, records, you know, microphone. Did the whole DJ thing. Loved it. Loved it. It's awesome. So when you look at say like ten years ago. I was dying to do something in as far as live broadcasting. And so um, I decided, because I'm a big fan of Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Some of you may have heard of him. And he talks about technology, which I think everybody needs to know about. And so I wanted to do that, too. I, I, was, a, I was kind of a fanboy of the guy. I love Leo. I've spoken to him a few times. I've called into his show. And he's a, he's a super nice guy. Leo Laporte, the tech guy, just look it up on YouTube, you'll find him. It gives you something to listen to while you're doing your housework, driving or whatever. And I, uh, I said, well, I want to do that. How do I do that? And I did research and tried to figure out how I could get people to call in. You know, I'd have to get a second phone line and all this stuff. I didn't want to spend any money. So eventually I discovered Justin TV. Justin TV or JTV was the first streaming website that I actually signed on for. And I cut my teeth on that website, doing live broadcasts. And I started December 24th, I think it was Christmas Eve, um, or Christmas Day, I can't remember exactly which day it was, um, on December 24th of 2010. It's my first broadcast. And the whole point of it was to take, take Skype calls. I, I decided to use Skype. Well, nobody knew what Skype was back then, right? What's Skype? What, what's Skype? What, what the hell is Skype? How do I do it? Well, you've got to install it and, you know, oh, geez. So no calls came in. I'm sitting here going, okay, so nobody's calling and, you know, whatever. So mm. dad nab it. That's so good. These guys. Gosh. Sorry. There's a microphone right there. Um, it's, it's beautiful. I'm enjoying that very much. Not that I can... I can't pronounce Ty Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree or Tony Orlando and Don, but that's okay. We're, we're okay. We're good. <laughs> so anyway, um, listen, I don't want to make this long. Somebody suggested I start playing songs. Well, I didn't have any songs, I didn't have a mixer, I didn't have anything set up, so I plugged my iPod into my computer and I started playing songs. But back then it was the one that you turned the, you know, the little circle, the old iPods, the classic ones. I still have mine and it still works. And I started playing music. Well, to make a long story short, I caught what they call the casting bug, which is when you want to get on the air and do a broadcast. Most people who do radio or live broadcasts 
have an as they have an itch to do it it's it's not forced it's like this is what i'm doing right now i like to do this i i do now i'm not a narcissist excuse me <laughs> sorry carbonation i'm not a narcissist i don't like to be the center of attention i really don't actually some people who do this maybe that's what they want maybe that's what they're after they just want to be you know it's me 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 yep that's all about me that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not a me person. And so when I'm doing it, I'm trying to provide a service and an entertainment platform for people, for you, not for me. And I enjoy it. I enjoy doing that. Any good broadcaster or, you know, um, person that's, you know, of a public, in the public eye like this, isn't doing it for themselves. They're doing it for other people because they enjoy that right and that's me i'm not a you know, i'm a i'm a pretty you know modest guy in case you haven't noticed and i'm not i'm not in this for just like hey look at me i'm it's you know forget about everyone else it's me now it's my time it's not what it's about at all believe me i've researched into that kind of personality and I don't particularly like that part of people some people so um as, as time went on, I developed a style, and we what ended up happening was instead of taking calls, I started you know playing playing music, and I decided to go with hits that I grew up with, '60s, '70s, and '80s hits um, that were on the radio, you know classic hits, and it just developed. And at ten years later. It's, it's really developed into what I would call a radio show. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the only thing that's missing is a 50,000 watt transmitter out in the backyard with a huge antenna. That's the only thing that's missing. Okay? Um, but us people who do online radio, we have the biggest transmitters in the world because we can transmit all over the world. You can't do that with an antenna. Doesn't matter how powerful it is. The earth curves away and the signal goes straight out into space. You can't do terrestrial radio worldwide unless you have what's called repeaters, which bring the signal back down to earth and then bounce it around like this. And then that's satellites and stuff like that. So I call it radio because it's radio. In the in you know in all intents and purposes, just because there's no antenna and no transmitter doesn't mean it's not radio. Now radio means to radiate. Okay, radiating means to send out, to spread out, and you know, radiate into space into into surroundings. That's what we're doing. It doesn't have to be through the air. It can be through the internet. So I've does I've adopted the title of being a radio broadcaster, but. The, the point of that is, is that it's so much fun for those of us who've aspired to be radio broadcasters all of our lives, right? And you know, if you're, if you're one, you know who you are. What was I saying? <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. So now let's bring it up to today. What I do and what I've aspired to do and what I'm really, really happy about doing for free I don't get paid for any of it, except for, you know, you know what the payment is? It's people enjoying themselves. It's knowing that people are smiling and laughing because there's a chat room off to the side. And if you sign in, I guarantee you, you will be welcomed with open arms. I have one of the best chat rooms on, on it's, now it's Vaughn Live, it's, JTV's gone now, and Vaughn.live slash Craig2 is the, is the URL. And lots of people, there's lots of broadcasters on there doing the same thing. Um, some of them are better than others. And it, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And you get some good people in a chat room like I have. You had, you'd be very surprised how much fun you're going to have. So what I do now is my format is, again, hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I've learned how to be a DJ. I've learned how to enunciate. I bought an expensive microphone. I have a mixer. I'm I'm set up. I've got processing that sounds like you know radio, except sounds better than radio. 
and we do a show. There's your Canadian version of Pat Benatar. That's Quarter Flash and Take Me to Heart here on your Tube Radio. This DJ would like to invite you to stay the night. night. Right here on your Tube Radio. That's Rita Coolidge, and we're all alone. No, we're not. We're not all alone. We've got a caller. We've got a, a guy that nobody knows. I don't think anybody knows. i got to move this out of the way. Hold on. i got to get my mixer up here. Mark, how are you, sir? Well, let me Hold on. i got to turn you up. I lost my mixer. There it is. There he is. How you doing, sir? Mark Vaughn. Hey, Craig. How's it going? How's it going, man? Good to have how's you on. It, Thank you. all right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> The unfortunate part is that it starts at 10 p.m. on Friday nights, Eastern. Lots of people are in bed by then. You know, so that, you know, they work all week and, and they, you know, they're tired. They, they go to bed. They got kids and stuff. And that's, that's, that's the way it is. Um, and of course, there's time zones, which, you know, I could be broadcasting at 10 p.m., but over in the UK, it might be three o'clock in the morning. So they're sleeping, you know, but I broadcast for six hours. It's my dream of a lifetime. And I, I mean this from really from my soul. It's the dream of a lifetime for me to do a radio broadcast. And I'm going to call it a radio broadcast, whether you think it is or not, just because there's no antenna and a clunky old transformer and my, you know, transmitter in my backyard. It's still a radio. It's a digital radio. It's internet radio. And I take Skype calls. I play the drums on there. You know, I'll hop on the drums every once in a while and jam with a song. People can, you can take, you can make a request. It goes into another chat room. I look at it. I'll play your request. We play vinyl. It's a lot of fun. Now, I'm not promoting this because of any kind of financial gain. I don't make a penny. I just want you to see it and realize if you're young, and you have never seen old-time radio, this is what it used to be like. Now, of course, then there wasn't video and there wasn't chat rooms, but there's a guy behind the console doing it, doing the, playing the songs, running the thing, getting up, picking out records, putting them on the turntable, deciding what songs they're going to play, taking requests. It's not like that anymore today. Believe me. It's not. It means a lot more to me than just, oh, okay, I'm going to sit down here and pl- play some songs and talk and stuff. No, it means there's a lot more to it than that. There's definitely a long trail of memories and of desires on my part to do what I'm doing now. And that's why I do it. So I hope to see you there. You don't have to sign in. You can just lurk. You can just go in there and watch. You don't have to be in the chat room. You don't have to have an account. It's vaughn.live slash craigtube. Simple as that. Okay? That's what that's all about. And thank you for listening. That's the story. Here it is. The full story. Now, let's get that out of the way because there's a microphone right there. I'm probably getting loud signals into that thing. Oh, yes. All right. Take one more sip of this and we'll move on. Um, don't forget, I'm going to be doing these... Um, got one here these are i'm getting ready to do i just have to get i haven't been to the brew store because it snowed like crazy here and i have to walk so um these are i I gotta get some dextrose for these things interesting beer kits okay and i'm going to use the yeast that came with them because i want to do them the exact way that they say to do i don't want to use different yeast this time all right all right cheers that's a very, very tasty beer. Um, I'm not sure it'd be a session. You'd probably drink two of those. And then after that, it'd be like, okay, you know, because it's a lot of flavor in this beer. 
Um, and it's just a treat. A very, very nice treat. Thank you, Ryan, for sending this beer in. And the uh, Flying Monkeys Beer Company, you guys are doing it well. You're doing it good. I've been drinking beer for many years, and you got my approval. <laughs> so keep it up. Keep it up. And we'll uh, see you guys really soon, okay? Another one of these is coming up very soon. And uh, this is coming up really soon, too, because I'm dying to try this. Whoops. Yeah, just drop it there. That's all right. It's no problem. All right, guys. Take care. Be safe, okay? 17, and uh, let's see you real soon. See you Friday night, okay? 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Check it out. Take care.